Warning. Very loud noise incoming. I warned you. Let's get ready to rumble! Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Hub. I follow this is Ace Attorney Case 4 Turn Loss Succession. Um, we talked to Fears about everything we possibly could, so we're gonna move on to the detention center to introduce ourselves to um, our client who apparently won't talk to anybody. So maybe we can get her to talk to us. Hey, <laughs> silence. That's that's 20 minutes we've been here waiting. With, that's what that's 20 minutes we've been waiting here 20 minutes maybe I should complain I'm sure that God was has better things to do than stand there pretending he doesn't see us you know that they, the minute we we get angry the client will show it always works that way like shouting oh waiter and they're standing right behind you oh God is your are our client gonna be much longer what are you talking about haven't you already started the meeting yet huh oh snap there she is Eek! <laughs> Where did you come from? Silence. Well, well. Anyway, please have a seat. Damn, she shot like Hinata. If y'all know who Hinata is from, then you have earned yourself a high five, a virtual high five. No refunds. <laughs> I'm nervous of all. It's the silence. It builds suspense. Why don't you do something, Trussy? You're a magician, aren't you? Th that's right. O okay. Oh god, that Mr. Hat. No, we haven't seen him for one case. I'm the amazing Mr. Hat. And she fainted. Eek, she passed out. Hmm. Miss uh, Magic Underwear might have been a better bet. That's Magic Panties, Apollo. <laughs> okay. Let's ask her. Uh, let's give her a dutch to her. Uh, a uh, hi. Well, I'm your defense. I'm really, I really think it has to be fate, you know. And by fate, I mean destiny. Do you know I'm good with astro astrology? Tell me, what's your sign? Are you trying to hit on her? Because it's not working. I could tell you mine, if you like, if you like Apollo. No, never mind. I just got carried away there. I've seen destined to get difficult clients, it seems. What about your name? Um. So what's your name? All right, I'm supposed to introduce myself first. I'm Apollo, Apollo Justice. And I'm Tissy Wright. I know, that's getting, this is getting nowhere fast. Okay, well, what, well, I think, what about the case then? Hey, I know, maybe you could tell us what happened. I ain't a defense attorney after all. Um, anything out of the ordinary happening lately? Well, the other day is, uh, the other day, this tourist from out of town stopped to ask me directions. Later, Trissy. <laughs> I feel like I need to ask directions myself here. Well, that was fruitless. But I think I can understand the despair a little bit, a little bit better. You did good, Apollo. She's painting her fingernails. Look, she's doing her nails. What? Are nails more important than defense? Is is that it? Let's go, Trissy. Excuse me. Could you could you read this? Um, sure. I feel like a teenager on a first date, and this is love letter we passed from desk to desk at school. Stop looking so wistful, wistful and read it, Apollo. It is a business card with a name and an address. The name is Vera Misham. The address is for Drew Studio. Get it? She drew, it's a Drew Studio, and she has a drawing pad. Oh! Uh, okay, that made no sense. <laughs> It'll give me this car because silence. Well, looks like we're finished here. I wonder if Drew Studio is the scene of the crime. Let's find out. We're gonna find out. They're gonna find you, 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 you. Okay, let's move on to the Drew Studio. <laughs> I ain't stop being stupid. And this place is a mess. Oh, this looks like... It looks like a studio. It's like life imitating art. Or maybe it's the other way around. 
but the tape on the ground there it's a bit jarring yeah looks like we found our crime scene Apollo look at all those paintings hey don't touch those it's okay I'm just looking she says and then she ends up screwing it up you are really good actually especially that one huh, Apollo look at this one Looks half finished. You can still see the rough sketch underneath. But that's odd. The rough part doesn't look like the rest of the painting at all. Yeah, good point. This that is odd. We added all three to our freaking uh uh, and we put all three paintings in our pocket. I don't know how that worked. All the paintings have a really different style too. Ah, I thought I might find you the you two here. Hey, it's Emma. Emma, a long time no see. Oh. Seems like I run into you far too often. I'll bet I know why you're here, too. You know about the trial simulation tomorrow? I've heard about it, uh, sure. So Mr. Wright chose you, huh? We don't even know what the case is about. Well, he was killed. The artist who owns the studio, that is. Mr. Drew Miss Ham. Uh, Miss Ham? And his daughter was put under arrest. Yeah, we just saw the detention center. It was funny, though. She seemed more like a victim than the kind of person who could commit a murder. You don't say. Not even by poisoning? That's how it was done, you know. Poisoning is a common way to get the job get the job done when the murderer is a woman. Poisoning? Anyway, M Mr. Wright told me you were com you'd be coming. Feel free to take a look around. I'll just be over here with my snackoos. Uh, she's always eating. Emma, you are fat. <laughs> Yes, folks, as you've thought about it, Emma being here means there isn't, there isn't any game. But we'll get to that later. Uh, we want to get to this cup right here. Oh, the victim's coffee mug. Aha, so the poison was here. This is my first time seeing a real poison mug of coffee. I would hope so. Poison coffee. Not exactly. Not exactly, actually. What do you mean? No traces of poison were found in the coffee. What? You'll have to figure out the rest yourself. I'm officially not on your side, after all. Um, there's a couple of things we want to actually examine here before I talk to her. This might take up the rest of the video, so just, just hold your horse. Hey, there's a painting hidden behind back here. Hey, you're right. What if it's embarrassing, embarrassing somehow and he didn't want us, anyone to see it? You certainly seem pleased by the possibility. <laughs> hey, does this look familiar? Huh, it's so... Normal, it looks familiar, doesn't it? That's hardly something to get mad about. Huh? What is it, Apollo? Well, does this painting look like... Never mind. I better get a professional opinion on this. Okay. Uh... I want to see if there's anything... Uh, what about here? Letterbox looks funny sitting inside a room like this. Let's take a look. Empty. The other half of the letterbox is actually connected to the outside of the studio. Mr. Misham would put this put his letters in there. And the postman took them away. Impressive that someone still writes letters in this day and age. Or write, wrote, rather. Uh, I'm trying to remember, is there anything else here um I it, I might remember something so bear with me folks as I talk to Emma because we're closing in t um, 12 minutes here you see uh, talk to her the victim so this um drew Misham was some kind of artist apparently did a lot of illustrations for the books I hear had a lot of had a lot of female fans too for what it's worth Oh, well, I guess this stuff is kind of pretty. Like the oil painting over there, for instance. Um, yeah. That wasn't one of his illustrations, actually. Huh? So it was a standalone painting or something. Is that what she means? He was an odd bird, Miss Ham. Hadn't shown his face to anyone until the end. What do you mean, to anyone? He was always locked up here in his studio, apparently. He only His only connection to the outside world was through letters he put in that letterbox there. Letters? Do people still write letters? What do you mean, Apollo? 
I mean, when, when was the last time you wrote a real letter? The most people using email and stuff these days? That Mr. Miss Ham couldn't stand technology, it seems. He did everything by mail. Maybe he thought that way was more artistic, you know? I draw and I use email. And I do letters every now and then. Damn it! <laughs> in any case, the only person besides him allowed in here was his daughter, Vera. Oh, you mean the killer? The suspect, please. He took some fingerprints, of course. The only ones found in the room were Miss Ham Mr. Miss Hams and Vera's, basically. Basically. Actually, last night, Mr. Miss Ham gave an interview to a reporter for the first time. It happened during the interview, apparently. His first interview ever? Could you tell us a bit more about what happened in that other murder? I guess we'll, we'll talk to her about the defendant, and I guess we'll end it there. So this woman, Vera, she's Mr. Miss Ham's daughter, right? You have a real sickly girl ever since she was little. Hardly ever went, hardly went outside. She did kind of give off a, a withdrawn sort of aura. She was homeschooled by her father, apparently. It was quite a scene when they took her to the detention center. She was screaming about how she shall she die if they took her out outside. That does sound like a scene. In the end, she agreed to leave it uh, leave if she was allowed her good luck charm for company. Her good luck charm. Apparently, she has this charm that magically gives her the courage to go outside. Why can't I ever get a normal client? But why would a sudden daughter kill her own dad? Don't look at me. So about the poison, it was found to be in this coffee, right? No, not precisely. Not precisely? What does that mean? It means see for yourself, I think. Uh, we're reaching 11 minutes. So I guess we'll ask about the night of the crime in the next episode of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. I will see you guys then. And I hope we don't get a screwed we don't get a screwed case this time around because last time we almost didn't win that one. Just saying that much. <laughs>